Hello and welcome back to Two Minute Cello. Nice to see you. Today I want to talk about bow hold. In my years of teaching, here's something I've seen so many times. The droopy bow hold. The completely collapsed pinky that's hanging on for dear life, completely fallen overboard, no pinky engagement whatsoever. I'm here with a quick, effective way of remedying this situation. If you don't know, the pinky's very important. I think of it as the balancer, right? If you just hold your bow above the string, right, you will feel your pinky's doing a lot of work. This doesn't really change when we're actually bowing. Our pinky should be pretty heavily involved, making sure that our bow stays controlled and balanced whenever we're playing. If you're playing like this, it's possible to make a really great sound, but it's not ideal. It's not easier. If anything, it's harder. I would encourage everybody, especially if you're young, and you're still developing your technique, really, really try to force the habit of getting that pinky on top of the bow and using it to help guide your bow stroke. It really makes a huge difference. Here's my method. It's very simple. Take your bow hold, lift the middle two fingers. That's it. Lift these two fingers and it will force your first finger and your pinky to carry the full burden of your bow hold. Take any piece, whatever the piece is that you're working on right now. I'll use the Happy Farmer from Suzuki One. I'm gonna keep these two fingers elevated the entire time. <laughs> Here's my challenge. Spend 10 minutes playing everything like this. Force yourself to do it. It may not be super comfortable, but it will build up the coordination and the strength in your pinky. And you'll notice that when you go back to trying to hold your bow normally, it'll feel a lot easier. That's it. It's super simple. It's something you can try today. Whatever you're playing, maybe pick an old song, maybe play an open string, but just try lifting these middle two fingers, feel what your pinky is doing, and then try to recreate that same feeling when you put the other two fingers back in play. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed that. I hope you got something out of it. If you have any questions about what I talked about, or if there's anything I can explain better, ask me in the comments, shoot me a message. And as always, please subscribe if you like this content and if you wanna see more, like it. Thank you, have a wonderful day.